Hi everyone, I hope you're having a good morning so far and welcome to Birdie's Blooms. This video is going to be a different video. I do floral arrangements and this morning I'm on a mission. I have a couple of arrangements to make and I thought I'd take you along with me. If you're enjoying this video thus far, don't hesitate to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification button. That way you will be notified every time a new video has been uploaded. Hi everyone, how are you? Hope you're enjoying your day. Maybe rainy and sun outside here in New Jersey, but I choose to uh, rejoice in the Lord, regardless of what's happening around me. And so, as we all know, Mother's Day is vastly approaching. And um, today I am going to be putting together a couple of flower arrangements. And I thought that I'd take you along with me. Now, most traditionally, people do floral arrangements for Mother's Day and they put them in a traditional vase, um, or you may get a plant as a gift. But for uh, most of the time, I like to use other um, pieces of reusable items other than vases. So like for instance, I like using gift boxes. You can always turn this into a um, box to put arrangements in and it can be reused after the flowers are dead. And I'll show you how. Um, you can use a cute arrangement um, saucer that you have, a little attachment. You can use this and put flowers in there as well. And I can show you how, how to do that as well. Or if you don't have those things, but you're into flowers and you're into growing and you have plants and you have a pot of some sort, you can use this as well. So I will show you. Take this gift box and use cellophane. And I will cut it out to be the circumference, to be, to, to, uh, to line it. It doesn't have to be pretty, but it has to be productive. Just like a skinny boy Randy says on YouTube. Don't give him props. So then you take your cell phone. And you can fold it because of the size of this box. The box. Push the hands down in the center of it. Now, I, I what I did was I, I unfolded it because 
I don't care. I just want to make sure that the inside is properly lined. And then what I'll do is I'll do it again. I'll cut it again to make sure that it's, it's properly lined. I'm going to take it and put it the opposite way. Like this. And then just press your hand in the center of it. Right. So now you have it completely lined. Okay. Now, what I have over here is Oasis. Oasis is styrofoam. That is a floral, a floral medium that will allow you to, it, it can soak up water and the water will be able to sustain and, new, and, and, and sustain the flowers. So I have them soaking in water what I do is, it's been soaking, they have to be submerged. But because I have several of them, I know that this one is completely um, soaked. Be, um, before I even do that, I wanna say that you have to properly measure whether you're gonna put your oasis in the box, on the box, in the box, this way. And if so, then you're going to have to cut several of them that way or you can just put two of them across inside the box which is what i'm going to do the reason why you need for the oasis to completely be soaked is because you don't want any air pockets to be in here and that would stop the flowers from getting a constant flow of moisture and nutrients so as you can see how i put it in here, okay? And I'm just gonna put the second one right next to it. I had four of them in here. And so, yeah. So it fits perfectly inside. I know you can see it, but I'm going to lower the camera just in case. So now, you have this beautiful box. It's been lined, properly lined, and now you have your oasis that's been soaking in water. No nutrients, just water. I could have put nutrients, but I just put water. Um, in it. So what I'm going to do is begin to arrange my flower arrangement. I have roses, alstroemerias, lilies, freesia, and burls of iron. Then I also have beautiful, 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 beautiful mm, peonies. So the reason why they're not in water is because once you um, cut them and put them in water, they open up. And I wanna save that for the arrangement. The lilies, and you wanna clean them off, take all the leaves off of your plants, completely off of your plants because they're gonna turn yellow anyway. And so, you only need I measure against my box. I look and I see how tall my box is. 
and I determine how tall I want my arrangement to be. And then I begin. do what I did. When you look at your flowers, look at them closely. If there's any blemish on them, take them off like this one. Take it off. There it is.
tarde.